guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another setup. We have moved into our temporary apartment so everything's looking a bit different today and I'm still figuring out where in this place I want to film my videos but it seems like this is the perfect backdrop to start off with anyway. So this video is going to be a bit of a different kind of concept and I hope that you're, you're on board with me on this. So it's actually inspired by the app called Good On You. I follow them on Instagram and I use the app from time to time myself. Um, this video is by no means sponsored by that app, but it's an app that's kind of invented to make it more convenient for you as a consumer to find out whether a brand is sustainable or not. So you can look up a brand in their library and then they've rated the brand for you so you don't have to do a lot of work yourself if you don't feel like an expert in the field of sustainability or whatever reason that make makes this whole thing hard for you then that app is definitely a good tool even the person like me who has a high interest in um, fashion and sustainability in general i've said countless times before that i am not an expert so i feel like this app is a tool that I cannot live without because again it just makes it a lot more convenient and easy for me as a consumer to get access to a brand's sustainability. So sometimes on the Good On You Instagram they make these sustainable alternatives kind of posts. So they will post a picture of a fashion item from a conventional brand that's very popular maybe and then they'll kind of point you in the direction of a sustainable alternative. Sometimes I feel like they kind of go a little bit too far with these because I still feel like even though it comes from a con conventional brand, we should all respect great designs and original ideas. So um, pointing people in the direction of things that are basically copies of the original idea is not really the thing that I want to promote in this video. So I hope you kind of get that. So instead of doing that, I have picked out some of my favorite wardrobe pieces that I've had for many years. Um, most of these are from way before I even got into ethical and sustainable fashion and supporting ethical fashion brands. So I thought I wanted to take these items and then point you in the direction of what sustainable alternatives there are out there. So if I had to repurchase any of these items, I would go for some from the sustainable brands instead. I feel like this is gonna be a long intro, but anyway, I'm getting back in the game. So my point with this video, I guess, is to inspire you to research the market. So if there's something that you've fallen in love with, a certain trend or something like that, that it can inspire you to search the market within the sustainable fashion range instead of always just going to the conventional brands because they will always have all of the trends available. So again, it might be a bit of a weird concept, but I hope that you're on board with me on this. And I think that with any further ado, we should have a look at the 10 wardrobe items that I've picked out from my wardrobe and then the sustainable dupes that I've found for these items. Before jumping in with the first item, I'd just like to say that I do personally believe that pretty much everything that you fall in love with today, you can find that in a secondhand version because it's already out there. We've already seen it in some version somewhere. So I do believe that, you know, always checking out your secondhand options before even buying something new is a great solution to start off with. Along with, of course, using what you already have in a more creative way. So I'm not trying to just promote um, a lot of shopping here. It's still about being a sustainable, long-term consumer of fashion. But again, it's just pure inspiration for you guys. So let's start with the first item that I've picked out. Um, I've been on the search for a sustainable dupe for these for quite some time and for several reasons. One is obviously that these are not from a sustainable brand. And another reason is I wouldn't really recommend these shoes. So whenever people ask me where I got these shoes from, I'm always like, mm, should I tell them? Because nothing against the brand. I actually don't really know the brand. I fell in love with the shoe because of the style and it was more the style that I wanted to inject into my wardrobe. Um, but they had the weirdest sizing. I had to size down an entire size because my normal size was just way too big. And the smaller size was just really, really tight. So um, I wouldn't really recommend these shoes. I've finally broken them in because I've been using them for three years straight. I think almost four years now actually. So um, they fit great now, but if I had to repurchase them, I would go for another option. So I am of course talking about my leopard flats. You guys are probably tired 
of looking at these by now, but I cannot live without these. And I actually did get a tip from one of you over on my Instagram via my direct messages, so thank you so much for that. Um, I didn't already know this brand, but you can get a very similar pair from the sustainable footwear brand called Ruffies. Um, I'm not sure that they ship internationally. I think that you can both get them from the UK and the US, so I might have to look into that, but I'll link them down below. I found this really cute pair um, also with a leopard print. You can get them with a small kind of leopard print. You can also get them with a bigger pattern and you can also get them in a Sephora version, which I think is so cool. The same pointed shape and everything. I think they're, they look amazing. And um, they're made in recycled plastic, so again, a great sustainable solution. And if I had to repurchase these, these are definitely ones that I would go for. So let's move on to another beloved wardrobe staple of mine. Um, the leopard shoes are part of my spring capsule, so I tend to pack them away from season to season and then bring them back out. So this leather jacket, biker jacket, is part of my all year basic wardrobe and I bought this one secondhand, I think maybe six or seven years ago now. It's just from H&M but it's in real leather and it's been holding up very well. Um, these flaps right here were originally just hanging loose like this and then I applied this press button myself so just right through the lining and everything it was really easy just to kind of hold them in place because i like that a lot better so love this biker jacket to death and one of my best tips on getting your hand on more eco-friendly kinds of leather products is definitely to go for secondhand options both when it comes to bags skirts jackets anything um, but if i were to repurchase a new biker jacket and support a sustainable brand or initiative at the same time i would definitely go for this one from the brand called pelishi coco i've mentioned them a couple of times before here on my channel but they make the most amazing leather pieces both jackets bags um, trousers and skirts things like that in recycled leather so i think that's super cool i think i read somewhere that they sometimes take leather from like old furniture or something like that and then turn them into fashion pieces and i think that it's such a wonderful way of getting your hands on a leather product product especially if you like the touch and the the wearing of leather in general like i do definitely a great solution to wear around that so moving on to the next item um this is a denim jacket let me just dig it out from the pile right here. So this is an old denim jacket from H&M. Um, don't really know when I bought it. I think it was before we moved into the house. So I think like five or six years ago. Um, it's kind of a long line fit, has these distressed details right here. Really lovely washed out finish to it. And I love this denim jacket. And if I had to repurchase this exact kind of jacket today, I would go for one um, kind of in a lighter color, so like those 90s style denim jackets from Levi's, for example, going for a secondhand version is a great option. So you can find lots of those on places like ASOS Marketplace, for example. Otherwise, I would go for one from Armed Angels in organic cotton. Armed Angels has quickly become one of my favorite sustainable fashion brands. They're way up there with Everlane for me um, because I feel like they make such nice items I have a couple of um, jeans from their brand and I just like their whole style ethos. I feel like I could wear anything that they make basically and I love the fact that they make great basics that you can invest in and keep for many years. So that's one of the reasons why I love both Armed Angels and Everlane. So they've made one very similar to this one but more similar to the 90s style um, denim jacket from Levi's actually. So in, in more of a light wash and with, with a great fit as well. Moving on to another great basic item of mine. This is also one of the items I bought at the beginning of my minimalism journey kind of. So I wanted to buy a great black blazer that I could have for many years. And I have had this for many years indeed. It is from a Danish brand called Inwear, which is kind of known for making very classic high quality fashion items. Not known for being sustainable specifically, not that I know of, but I definitely bought this jacket because I wanted to get my hands on a great quality uh, blazer. And it has been holding up 
very well. The color has faded a bit, it's gotten a bit fussy on the surface somewhere, but I can just kind of scrape that off with a razor. Um, and it looks smooth again. So, God, I must have had this for, I think, maybe six or seven years now. If I were to repurchase a similar item today, though, let's say I lose this one, it breaks, something like that, um, I would go for the one from Everlane, their Boyfriend Fit blazer. I already have the gray one, and I love that blazer to death. I like wearing it both inside if I'm going to the office or um, for fancy events or just like a jacket right now when it's spring with a jumper underneath. I love that look um, So just a jumper the gray place and a pair of jeans and a pair of boots I think that it's an awesome classic look So if I were to repurchase a classic black blazer, I would go for the black version of that blazer I mentioned before from Everlane um, My gray blazer is in a size 2 by the way, and I'm a regular European size 36, so just for size ref reference, because I know that a lot of you have been struggling choosing the right size for that exact blazer. So I definitely say go for your regular size. Um, don't size up or anything because it's designed to be a bit oversized. Next up I have a pair of black jeans here from Dr. Denim. You might have seen these countless times on my Instagram. Um, they're from Dr. Denim, did I already say that? I don't know. Um, and I have cut off the hemlines myself so that they now have this frayed edge because you guys know I do love a good frayed edge on my jeans. Kind of a hybrid between a straight leg and a boyfriend jean fit kind of um, jeans. And then they have a cropped fit as well because that's what I turned them into when I purchased them. I love these jeans, they're a great alternative to my blue straight leg jeans that I wear all the time. So if I were to repurchase these, I would go for a pair from either Armed Angels. They have a fit called Myra. Also, there's a brand called Tomorrow that I stumbled upon on ASOS the other day. I don't know if you guys remember that I've sometimes mentioned that ASOS actually has like an eco edit on their web shop. So if you just write eco edit in the search bar, all of the, the items that fit within that category will will show up on on the page. Um, so I stumbled upon these jeans from a brand called Tomorrow that I've never heard about before, but it's a sustainable fashion brand and they make things like jeans, mainly jeans, I think, and then also denim jackets and a couple of shirts. So the next item is another item from my all year basic wardrobe. This is my army jacket that I have recently started wearing a lot again since again, it's spring and I tend to wear this mostly throughout spring and autumn when I can wear it as a proper jacket outside. But I've also used it as a blazer sometimes during winter. Love this jacket. It's a really cool, etchy, very Anina Bing kind of jacket. So this is from another Danish brand. This is from a brand called Part 2. So again, it's not from a, a sustainable brand like that. But I, of course, bought it at the time because I wanted to wear it. I wanted to keep it within my wardrobe. And that's also why it's part of my all year basic wardrobe. So bought it with the intention of loving it for many years and already have. So in that sense, I guess it is kind of a sustainable purchase. But if I were to repurchase a similar jacket like this, I would again go for something secondhand, like a like a original vintage kind of army jacket. Otherwise, I would go for this one that I found also from Everlane. Looks like it's a bit more of a sturdy fabric, so not so slouchy as this one. So I'd probably size up you know, go one size up so I could have more of a slouchy fit. I could ruch up the sleeves, make it look a bit more casual. Um, but it's a great alternative. I really love all of the utility details that it has, the color and um, the utility pockets, everything. I think it's a really cool option. Moving on to the next item. This is my navy blue wool coat from the brand called Ichi. I bought this when I used to work as a design assistant for the brand. So again, it's not from an ethical brand, it's not from a, a sustainable brand like that. But again, I bought it with the intention of loving it for many years. Um, it's a great classic coat. It has like um, padding inside it, so it's a bit more warm than regular rule coats. So it has like this Thinsulate padding inside to make it a bit more warm throughout winter. I have actually been thinking about replacing the buttons at some point just to give it a new kind of look. So I've been thinking about going to one of the local um, fabric stores to see if they have sort of like an antique gold button that I could put into this coat to make it look a bit more 
classic or just give it a little bit of a bling and another look and then obviously save these buttons so that if I got tired of the other ones, I could just switch, switch them back. But that's definitely a great thing about coats like these and it's an easy way of updating them. I'm sorry for mentioning Everlane again. This would be the last alternative from Everlane. But like I said before, Everlane and also Armed Angels are that type of brand that just makes such great basics. Um, the things that I have from Everlane have been holding up so well and I just keep on loving them. I keep on reaching for them and I can love them for many years. So I think that's that's a great option to go for. So they have a very similar coat in their range, um, not in a navy blue color, which is actually kind of weird because I, I've always thought that navy was a very classic color. But the cocoon coat that they have on their web shop, they have that in colors like camel and black and gray, which is also great basic colors that you can love for many years into the future. So that's another great alternative. So for the next item I actually wanted to ask you guys for your help because I haven't been able to find something like this from a sustainable brand. So this is my lace camisole. Again this is something that I bought with the intention of bringing it into my basic wardrobe, loving it for many years but I couldn't find it from a sustainable brand. So I uh, purchased it from a brand called Cream which is a brand I don't really know. Um, this is a great example of an item that I bought purely because of the style and not so much because of the brand. I tend to always choose the style over the brand, but obviously I want to be able to um, support the sustainable brands. But for me, the most important thing is that it is a style that I love and that I know I can love for many years. Preferably again from a sustainable brand, but I couldn't find it. So I bought this one and um, the reason why I picked this specific one because there are many like you know similar to this one on the market the specific reason why i chose this one is because first of all it's made in cotton in like the body part right here so it's very sturdy it would be able to hold up for many washes and for many years like it's not as delicate as silk is for example and then also the crochet detailing here or the lace part is made in cotton crochet so again it's very sturdy you can wash it many times without it getting ruined or Again, it's not as delicate as the lace trimmings that's often on the classic lace camisoles. So that's the specific reason and the thought process when I bought this one. And I'd love for some of the sustainable brands to make something similar because in my eyes, this is something that every woman basically with a style similar to mine should have in her basic wardrobe. I wear this um, both on its own during summertime, um, underneath blazers, underneath my leather jacket. I've also sometimes worn it on top of a white t-shirt or a striped top or something like that for a really cool 90s, 90s style layered look. So I absolutely cannot live without this lace cami. If you guys know of any sustainable brands that make something similar to this, please let me know down below because that's something that I, I have yet to find a sustainable dupe for. So please help me out here. So let's move on to this top right here. This is my Breton striped top from Everlane. This is already from an ethical brand, but they don't make this anymore, which again is something that I don't really understand why, but I still wanted to include it because this is a basic top that I cannot live without in my wardrobe. I freaking love stripes. So I wanted to give you guys a couple of options, a couple of similar options to this one, because this truly is the best bread and stripe I've ever had. Like it's made in this heavy cotton, quality and it's just been holding up very well. I've washed it countless times and it still looks like new. So a great, great, great top that I wish that Evelyn would still make. But I have found one from Orchid. So I found this one in like a Pima cotton, which is a high quality kind of cotton. Pima cotton just basically means that the fibers are a bit longer than regular cotton. So it will hold up very well for many years. It's, you know, made to last. And then there's also the French brand called Les Sublimes. They also make amazing bread and stripe tops. I haven't tried any of them myself, but I really like the look of them because they have like that classic boat neck fit. And I love it both in the classic navy and white combo, but I also really like the white and red one. So let's move on to the last item. This is my beloved shopper bag from the Danish brand Adax. I've had this for eight years, I think now. And um, I've had it fixed by my local cobblers because one of the handles was um, beginning to fray right here and get loose. So he's just put it back together and you won't even, you can't even notice it. 
um, it looks really great and it has many years of wear left and it still looks amazing and I love this bag, I can fit anything into this bag and we go way back. So this bag is another item that kind of marks the beginning of when I started to get interested in minimalism and in investing in great quality pieces. Um, so again, before I really got interested in ethical brands and knew that that was even a thing, I invested in this one um, with the purpose of it being in my wardrobe for many years. So if I were to replace this one, I really hope not, but if I were to replace this one, I would definitely go for either a secondhand option, you know, similar to this one, or I would go for a bag from Oh My Bag, which I already have a bag from in my collection, like the brown uh, crossbody bag that you've seen a couple of times here on my channel. But they also have a great selection of tote bags. Um, I found one here called Georgia. So this looks like a great dupe for this one. It has this soft grained kind of leather vibe to it. It has some contrast stitches on the handles. And then inside of the bag, there's a bag in bag. So there's a slip bag inside in this really cute striped material. So I think it's like cotton canvas bag or something like that. There's inside of the, the bag so you can keep all of your little bits and bobs inside that little extra pouch. So the thing that makes Oh My Bag more sustainable is for one that they don't use any harsh chemicals when they tan the leather so they use vegetable tanned leather and then they also use local cow hides instead of using um, cow hides from cows that are raised to support the fashion industry. So in that way um, the cow hides are meant to be a natural waste product from the meat industry um, in that local area rather than the cow hides coming from cows that are raised to make fashion items. So that was all of the 10 items I wanted to include in this video. Items that are not from sustainable brands but most of them are bought with the intention of loving them for many years and that way they're still sustainable but if I had to repurchase them then these are the options that I would definitely go for. I hope that this video was inspiring and if you like the concept let me know down below. Um, I know that there's definitely a lot of repetition, you've seen a lot of these items many times before so that's also why I kind of wanted to, to do another concept today and again the point with this video is just to inspire you guys to be a bit more creative when you want to add something to your wardrobe. Not always just go for the conventional brands because like I said, they will always have the newest trends. See if you can support some of the sustainable initiatives instead. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. Also make sure you check out my Instagram for daily outfit updates. I would really appreciate that. So take care and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.